McKenzie and before him, General Votel has described, has said the Lebanese army of the LAF is uh, the best, one of the best um, partners of the United States military in the region, that the army person for person is among the most capable armies in the Arab world. Um, that, and I would say, and I'm going to define that better, I mean, Votel and I think McKenzie have said that Lebanon is an outstanding counterterrorism partner. Um, I would say that, uh, sorry, the Lebanese Armed Forces is an outstanding uh, counterterrorism partner. I'd say that they are an outstanding counterterrorism partner in fighting Sunni jihadi terrorism. Um, right? Um, so they, they do fight Sunni terrorism, no doubt, and they've done a great job on that. Um, we provide, uh, you know, it varies, but I started the program with the Lebanese Armed Forces uh, in 2005 when I was at the Pentagon. We were giving Lebanon $1.5 million a year in military assistance. And that was basically IMET. That was international military education training. That's for Lebanese officers to get military training in the United States. After the Syrians and Hezbollah, or whoever it was, killed, murdered Rafiq Hariri, and the, Syrian, and the Lebanese people stood up and threw Syria out of your country and ended the Syrian occupation. The United States um, upped its support to the Lebanese Armed Forces from 1.5 million a year to 70 million a year. And now it's well over 100, sometimes reaching 150 million a year. Um, so I'd say the cooperation is robust, the training is robust, and the president continues to provide that funding to the, uh, the Lebanese Armed Forces. Um, and the secretary is a secretary of state is a, a huge supporter of it. Can I ask you why? Why? Well, we listen. We think that uh, the Lebanese Armed Forces is, a, is a, a stabilizing force in the country, right? They are a capable force. They step in and play a role. We thought that the role they played during the demonstrations, right? I, I mean, there were you know reported incidences of ex of, of excessive violence, but by and large, um, we saw the Lebanese uh, army step in to defend the protesters from being beaten by Hezbollah thugs and, and uh, SSNP, et cetera, people who would go and try and drive people who were exercising their democratic rights, try and drive them off the street with violence. Um, so we think that they are a stabilizing force in the country, uh, that they are a national institution. We do not, uh, they are not a panacea, Giselle. Um, right, there are times like in Arsal, et cetera, where the Lebanese Armed Forces have collaborated with, deconflicted, um, you know, shared information with, cooperated with Hezbollah. We do not support that. We uh, we talk to them about it, um, and um, we understand that uh, these are two forces operating in the same areas, and that there is some deconfliction that need be done. Um, but by and large, we think that uh, the LAF is a positive story. Mm -hmm.